In this short example, I'm going to demonstrate the central limit uh, uh, theorem. Uh, so here is an example. Assume that women's heights are normally distributed with the mean given by mu equals 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Okay, here's the first question. If one woman is selected at random, what's the probability that her height is less than 64 inches? Since we're not picking samples here, it's just one individual, so that doesn't have anything to do with the central limit theorem. So uh, we need to find the probability of x less than 64. We can use a normal CDF feature built on your TI-84. You need a lower bound, an upper bound, the mean, and the standard deviation. For less than, your lower bound should be always be negative infinity, but we do use like negative a million or a billion. Just put a negative one with as many zeros as you want. The upper bound should be the 64 because you cannot exceed the 64 and the mean is 63.6 and 2.5. And let's see what the answer is. I got 0 0.5636. You should try it out and make sure that uh, you match with my answer. Okay, here's another question. If one woman is randomly selected, what's the probability that her height is between 60 and 65? Also, this is just one individual, so doesn't have to do anything with the central limit theorem yet. We need the probability of x between 60 and 65, so it's normal CDF. Your lower bound is 60, your upper bound is 65, your mean is 63.6 and 2.5. Let's see what my calculator gave me 0 0.6373, rounded to four decimal places. So 0 0.6373. Now the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem states if you have a population with mean, mu, and standard deviation sigma and take sufficiently large random samples of size 30 or more, then the distribution of the sample means will be approximately normally distributed. I've already uh, demonstrated an applet uh, showing the how the central limit theorem uh, works, and this exercise is an application of the applet. So this will hold true regardless of whether the source population is normal or skewed. So if you have a sample of size 30 or more, and if you draw uh, if you select thousands of samples of size 30 or more and then you try to plot the mean of each of those samples you're gonna get a distribution that is approximately normal bill shaped and the interesting uh, outcome is the mean of the sample means is gonna be exactly the same as the mean of the original population but the standard deviation is gonna be a lot smaller which is the original population divided by square root of n in order for the result of the central limit theorem to hold, and if the population is not normal again, you must have a sample size of more than 30. But if your population is originally bell-shaped, is normal, the sample size doesn't have to be more than 30. It can be any uh, sample size, even a sample size of 3 or 4, it would still work. So let me show you how to apply the central limit theorem uh, now. If 36 women are randomly selected, find the probability that they have a mean height less than 64. So the question here, it's not about one individual. It's about the mean of the sample. So it's about X bar. So we need to find the probability that X bar is less than 64. Uh, let me just fix this here. And I'm going to type it in. So that will be probability of x bar less than 64. Which is a normal CDF. Okay, as I said, for less than starts with negative a million, negative infinity. Your upper bound is 64. Your mean is 63.6, but look at the difference here. Uh, guys, this is the important part. 
your standard deviation is not the same as the standard deviation of the original population because you are working with sample means now they have a much smaller standard deviation your standard deviation is sigma divided by square root of n which is 2.5 divided by square root of 36 and let's see what the answer is so I got a 0 0.8315 so guys when you are working with the samples and you are asked to find the probability of the sample mean your standard deviation cannot be the original standard deviation you need to use the standard deviation of the sample mean or it's called the standard error of the mean which is the original standard deviation divided by square root of n right here okay next question if 16 women are randomly selected find the probability that they have a mean height between 60 and 65 inches so we need the mean height so this should be x bar here right here so probability of x bar between 60 and 65 which is normal cdf lower bound is 60 upper bound is 65 mean is 63.6 but look at the standard deviation it's 2.5 divided by the square root of the sample size which is 16 and if you uh, try to use your calculator to find i got a 0 0.9875 9875 so this is how the central limit theorem works it's very much like the same way in computing normal probabilities but the only difference when it comes to the standard deviation you must use the standard error of the mean or sigma of x bar which is sigma over square root of n instead of the original sigma